Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to do a brand showcase on Norman Villalta. And to help us with a little bit of exploration within the brand itself, not the shoe I own, uh, I've turned to this great book, um, and this is in the Shoes of the World section, and this is Shoes, the Art of Male Footwear by Hugo Jacome and Sonia Glynn. It's a uh, it's a really great pictorial. They've got a little bit of text and some some great history on each of the brands. But I, what I wanted to do today was really help illustrate some of the cool shoes on here. And I don't own them all, so I wanted to be able to kind of express some of the great things about the brand. Now, this is the Deacon Chelsea. Now, the, the Deacon Chelsea is a Chelsea boot that actually has a facing derby um, over it, really for show, right? But it... Uh, it, it creates a completely unique look and is um, really kind of an icon for Norman Vallalta and um, just a, a wonderful, wonderful piece um, and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful execution. Now you can see that he has, um, you know, he has taken the basic simple shoe and found a way to add elegance and beauty into what he's doing. It's just a it's a really nice way of being able to pull that shoe together. He does a great job. He has the side hole cuts, uh, which uh, just again, he's got like a ribbon lacing on them. He's got a uh, kind of like a square cut into him, almost a star. He's actually known for his star, and I'll show you that when I look at my shoes. A pair of chuckas here with biomaterial. Just beautiful execution, very narrow um, soles, square waists. Just gorgeous stuff. Different materials. This looks like it's in a uh, linen weave. Uh, this is that same chukka and that same side. And the um, uh, the uh, um, the Chelsea boot uh, that we talked about before. And then here we have an Adelaide. Now, what's interesting about his Adelaide is that he almost reimagined the Adelaide because instead of like a simple U throat, he really has it cut out different, uh, which is a cool stylistic choice. He still has a toe iron. He's got a beautiful way that it cuts back and, and is narrow at the waist. The toe proportion is very, very nice. Um, you know, he uses big brogues instead of small brogues, all kinds of different things that really kind of cut it to, to what he does. Now, then you look at mine and my shoe is the Eduardo. Uh, this is a one eyelet derby and has that same um, cut here with the kind of a little star, and he has uh, this little half moon here that, that is also iconic on his shoes. Um, and you see he's got it all kind of just cut in, very casual, and I see this is on the inside where the heel wraps around. That is actually a heel seam where he has that. I think that that looks incredibly nice. Um, he has a cross in the... Uh, um, in the uh, in brogues, right in the back here. Let me bring that up so you can see that. It's very very cool. You see that? See the half moon? And again, these are just gorgeous gorgeous shoes. This is they call it a Mediterranean brown. You know, heels just so the beautiful soles, very plain. You know, square waist. Very straightforward, but very clean, very clean, um, high-end clean. And that's really what Norman Vallalt is about. It's a factory-made shoe, but it's made with absolute precision. And um, it is art. Um, and uh, I will be doing an episode of Shoes as Art about this shoe just because of that. And I think as you look at the other shoes from Vallalta, as you look through the beautiful pictures in this book, you can see how all of them really fit that bill and um, <clears throat> bring a lot more aesthetically to the table than many, many other brands. And at the end of the day, we buy high-end shoes because they're functional, but we also buy them because they're beautiful. And uh, Norman Vallalta definitely does that. So word of advice, don't buy them without trees like I did. Spend the money for the trees because um, you don't want to spend shipping to have trees sent to you uh, from Spain uh, when you uh, forgot to do it up front. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. This is Norman Vallalta. Hopefully that gives you something to think about, all you shoe lovers out there. Uh, he runs a GMTO um, every month or two, 
and uh, always new things coming out. So get on his mailing list and uh, take a look at uh, the great shoes that he's offering. Um, he is a, uh, a member of some of the Facebook groups that I'm in and uh, um, has, has been an absolute joy to work with uh, through his team, right? I don't actually like reach out to speak with him very often. Um, I did when I, when I ordered the shoes, but other than that, um, and that was after I ordered them, not to order them, um, just to, to thank him and tell him how excited I was. So, um, but, uh, you know, he, uh, he is active in the community and, um, so, uh, definitely one of the good ones. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate the time.